Hello, in this tutorial we would test endogeneity for the final data regression equations using e-views. Let's see how to do that. First of all, I would open my panel data using e-views and I can estimate any equation using my dependent variable and the independent variable one by one. And I have to test endogeneity for each of the independent variables one by one. But in this tutorial, I would show the steps only for one independent variable. So this is the main equation with our main independent variable and the independent variable. So we would be doing endogeneity test for each of these independent variables during our real data analysis for writing a thesis or research paper. So uh, I would be demonstrating it for one independent variable. You can do the same steps for all the other independent variables one by one. And I can, uh, I have to estimate equations for the endogeneity using fixed effects. So how to estimate a fixed effect equation? I can click on the tabs for panel options, select fixed for the cross section, and similarly time periods. So you have to specific, uh, specify these options according to your own structure. And you can also uh, determine the uh, weights and similarly other estimation approaches. So once it is done, I would click on OK to get the main equation. So this is a simple fixed effect regression model for the main dependent variable and the included independent variables. So I have to test these independent variables one by one for endogeneity. And you can see that this is a simple fixed effect regression model. So how to do that, I would go back to estimate an equation using the same fixed effect approach, but when for the independent variable that you want to test for endogeneity, I would click on estimate here remove the main and uh, the dependent variable so that means that if a jdp is the first variable it would be used as a dependent variable so but in my main equation my main research hypothesis it would be working like uh, the first independent variable so in this step we can call it as a first stage least square regression so it can be an approach of two stage least square approach so this is the first stage that we are going to do with the first independent variable to be used as a dependent variable and then we have to proceed like the way we are doing now so let's estimate this equation using panel data and with a fixed effects specification so i will click on ok and uh, we get the results so here gdp it is actually an independent variable in my research but in this equation it is uh, a dependent variable and the other variables are independent so i can use any other variable that is not part of my main equation but that can contribute towards the uh, variations and jdp so you can add it like this so let's see like i would add for example some other variables let's say savings so i can do it like this and estimate it so this is how for example you have to estimate the first state least square regression equation using panel data fixed effects specification and from here i have to determine the residuals so i will click on plot here make a residual series and i would name it for example gdp so i can see that gdp is already estimated with residuals so i would go back and that should be like in gdp2 so i created this gdp for another analysis so here i would use it gdp2 and click on ok so it would be like estimated here you can see that some observations has n a that means a missing data when there is no data in the equation that there is a missing observations so we can also see that G a residual underscore gdp2 is also created in the database so now i can go back to the main equation where my main dependent variable is dead and now gdp is here so here you have to keep in mind that when you add this gdp2 as the series and i have to remove this saving because it was not part of my equation for the original research so i would remove that so here you have to keep in mind two points sometimes if uh, we might be able to estimate this uh, second stage equation when the original independent variable and its residuals are included at the same time and sometimes we might get a singularity problem in e views our stata might drop some of these variables so what you have to do in that case when there is singularity problems here in e views that is an indication of multiple linearity. So I would remove this GDP from equation. So my simple equation for the second stage would be looking like this. I would click on OK. So this is the residual series that I have computed in the first step. Now I can use this P value to test a hypothesis that this variable is a uh, endogenous or not. So the P value less than 0 0.05 means this, this uh, the variables that we used in the first step, this is GDP 
is endogenous. So here I can confirm that JDP is endogenous because the p-value is less than 0 0.05. I can also confirm that using an F or world statistics. So I would click on view. Before that, I would make sure that what is the, the coefficient of this. So in e views, we might easily get the sample for the coefficient. So I would click on view and then the representation. So I can see that the residuals underscore JDP is a coefficient of C1. So I would copy it from here. I can just manually type that. So let's say copy it and then click on view. Go to this coefficient diagnostics and then world coefficient restrictions. So I would copy that, paste that here and test the simple hypothesis that the coefficient of the residual of GDP is zero and I would get an F test. So again, we have the same hypothesis and in F test and T test creates the same results. So if this P value is greater than 0 0.05, we would confirm that uh, the GDP, that was the independent variable that we used for endogeneity to create this residual series with a coefficient of C1 is not endogenous. But if it is less than 0 0.05, it will show that it is endogenous. I'm sure that this would help you because sometimes you do not find this value in e-views after test endogeneity for final data. Thank you very much.